right? Uh, ah, now this is one where the calculator is clearly required, right? So, so just kind of be mindful of that. So the graph of uh, this function crosses the x-axis at one point in the interval. What is the slope of the graph at that point? Okay, so now there's two things happening. Number one, we need to find when uh, we need to find the x value when e to the tangent x minus 2 equals 0. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to call this thing y1 in my calculator and I'm going to second calc 0. Okay, so let's go ahead to my y1. Oh, double check your mode. You should always be in radians, right? Uh, so I'm going to do e to the tangent x, right? Close out the whole parenthesis and then minus 2. Uh, minus 2, come on, brain. All right, cool. Uh, double check that you're right, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and graph, right? Now, there's a ton of these, right? But the one I want is in this the interval from 0 to 1. So I'm going to do second calc 0, and I'm going to scroll up here. I'm, I'm to the left of the uh, 0. I cross the axis. I'm to the right of 0 and hit enter. That's the x, y I want. So I want x is approximately 0 0.6061119, but I'm not going to take any chances. I'm storing this thing as a. So the way I do that is I quit out. I hit x. You'll see that pop up. Store as alpha a, right? Then I specifically want the slope of the graph, right? I want y prime of the thing I called a. Well, I'm not doing that by hand. I have a calculator for it. I'm going to end derive, right? Uh, end derive my y1 with respect to x at the thing I just called a. So I'm going to go ahead and hit math 8, right? Vares over to y vares, pick function, pick y1, comma, with respect to x at the thing I just called a. That's going to give me my slope. It gives me a 2.960 or 1, uh, which is this guy, and that's my answer, right? Um, now, there's other ways to do that. You could certainly, um, if you go to second calc, you can pick dy dx. So you could do 6, right? Uh, you could hit dy dx, right? Uh, and that's going to give it to you at that value. If you want to hit dy dx, uh, so, so all right, sorry, let me quit out of that for a sec. Uh, let's go to graph again. So if I do second calc uh, dy dx, sorry, which was 6, right? Um, if I want it at the actual point here, I need to put, uh, I'm going to put alpha A, and that'll tell me at A. So, so that's another option, and uh, that's fine. I didn't mean to hit enter the last time, which is why I didn't get the value. So that, that's also totally fine. Uh, but again, know how to use your calculator and know which problems the calculator is not useful for, because some problems previously the calculator is not useful.